In this lesson, we're going to be using our understanding of place value partitioning and division to divide a two digit number by a one digit number. So opening up our textbook, we see that our first problem relates to our farmers and their sheep. Question 1a is asking the sheep are shared equally between the two farms. How many sheep does each farmer have? Now, in order to be looking at this question, we first have got to work out how many sheep are there in total and how many farmers are there. Then I want you to think about the idea of the sheep are shared equally between the two farmers. What is another word you can use for sharing? Can that help us solve this first problem? Question 1b is asking, the sheep are divided equally between the pens. How many sheep are in each pen? And once again, before we can start solving this problem, think, how many sheep are there all together? And how many pens are there all together? And is there another way of using, uh, another word that we can use instead of sharing? And once you've completed both of those questions, then I want you to be thinking about how you can check your answers. So question 1a, the sheep are shared equally between two farmers. How many sheep does each farmer have? And question 1b, the sheep are divided equally between the pens. How many sheep are in each pen? What I want you to do now is pause the video, go to your books, and I want you to work out the answer to both those before we look at how, what strategies we used. So let's have a look at question 1a. The sheep are shared equally between the two farmers. How many sheep does each farmer have? Now, the first thing we needed to do was work out how many sheep were there were or in total. And in this case, there's 48 sheep. And how many farmers do we have? Well, it says in the question, we have two. So what we're gonna do is we're going to share 48 sheep amongst two farmers. Or alternatively, we're going to put 48 sheep into two groups. To help me calculate the answer to this, I've taken my 48 sheep and I've partitioned that number 48 into my ones and my tens. So you can see straight in front of you that I've got 48 split into 40 and eight. And to make this even easier for me, I've managed to show this using a pictorial representation of my base 10. Now I will be looking at my ones first and I'm gonna try and divide that eight into two groups. And then I'm gonna move on to my tens. So you can see now I have eight ones divided by two or eight divided by two. And I can use my known strategies to help me calculate the answer. So now I've got my number sentence of eight ones divided by two or eight divided by two. I'm simply going to use my base 10. I'm going to share my ones into two groups. And we can see that each group has four ones or four. And once again, I'm going to do exactly the same with my tens. So I've got four tens and I'm going to share them into two equal groups. One group. And two groups. So each group has two tens. Or 20. So now we can see that I've had 48 divided by 2, and I've separated that into 40 divided by 2 to give me 20, 8 divided by 2 to give me 4. So now 48 divided by 2 will give me an answer of 20, and 4 to make 24. Let's see whether this same strategy will work on our next question. So question two was saying, the sheep are divided equally between the pens. How many sheep are in each pen? So once again, we know that we've got 48 sheep and let's see how many pens we've got. One, two, three, four. So once again, to help me solve this problem, I've divided and partitioned my number into its tens and ones. And again, we've represented this using our base 10, our deans, which will allow me to actually solve these problems now, because I'm going to be looking at eight divided by four and 40 divided by four. So we've got eight ones divided by four, eight divided by four. So I'm gonna take that and I'm literally gonna split them into four equal groups. Now remember, I'm grouping into four groups. So we can see that eight ones divided by four is two. 
2, 2 and 2. So there's two ones in each one of those four groups. And then we'll follow exactly the same process with our tens. So we're going to put our four tens into four groups. Which means four tens divided by four is one ten. Or simply ten. So looking at this question, the sheep is divided equally between the pens. How many sheep are in each pen? We worked it out as 48 divided by 4. So our first step was doing our ones. 8 ones divided by 4 to give us 2. And then we moved on to our tens. 4, 4 tens divided by 4 to give us 10. So now we can work out 48 divided by 4. Gives us an answer of 10. plus 2 to give us 12. So now I want you to continue with the work in the textbook. So looking at our next question, Lexi has 39 carrots. She shares the carrots between three horses. The first step is going to be partitioning that 39 into tens and ones. So nine ones divided by three, three tens divided by three. And then you can combine those two answers to give yourself the answer. So complete the stuff in the textbook and then Move on to your workbook to complete the independent activity. So I look forward to seeing how you get on. Good luck.